Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a full moon Wednesday night. This is what the media is calling the super moon. It's also a blue moon being the second uh, full moon in a month. Um, it just means that it's a little bit closer to the Earth and about 15% larger. It's not that super, but okay, whatever. Uh, sunspots activity. We've got some good storms over here on the right. Sunspots uh, rotating to the right. Hints of other stuff coming around to the, from the left. Looking at drought, we get a little worsening of the drought down the southwest. Uh, we be nice to get some more moisture into the state. Taking a look at nationwide drought, it really gets a lot worse across Texas and some of the Midwest locations. The west and northwest in Arizona really don't change much. We can't smoke. Fires are ongoing in Canada. Uh, looks like a fire in California and just a kind of a mix of smoke around. There's some clear air in southern Colorado, but we still have some haze and we're getting some air quality alerts almost every day. Looking at the last week of precipitation, it's been good. Northern mountains, even the south and southwest got some rain. This is two to three inches in the yellow, so the mountains are doing very well. Uh, Eastern plains got a little bit less this time, but they've been in pretty good shape anyways. Looking at our severe weather climatology, May, June, July, August, and then September, we still climatologically can have severe weather. It, it's uh, frequent enough that it shows up in, on this map, but it's fading um, nationwide as we go into the fall. For actual chances of severe weather, there's the stuff uh, with Adalia. The, the hurricane that hit Florida and moved up through. We just have a chance of a few convective clouds, nothing big. For Thursday, same thing, kind of halfway out in the plains and the rest of the state. And then for Friday, this is sort of a monsoon type flow. Looking at nationally, we got a front up here. It's not doing much, it sort of reforms back here. There's our better chance of Western thunderstorms in Arizona. Here's some chance of flooding rains in Arizona up to Vegas and southern Utah, but just a chance of convection around here. There goes tropical storm Adalia. Let me back up. We can see it's on the coast. Uh, hurricane, I think that's Franklin. Uh, then it moves out and away. Uh, our normal temperatures are dropping very rapidly. As we go into September, we should start really feeling a chill. Uh, 84 to 81 is normal, 54 to 50, I think it was 57 this morning. Um, there's a little chance of weekend storms, but otherwise quite dry for the next 10 days. And you can see why, here's dry air across the nation. There goes Adalia, here's the monsoonal moisture, not doing much yet. For the big features, there's Adalia again, we have a ridge stretching over the state. That's why we are so far above normal right now. We're in the mid to upper 90s are the temperatures we're getting right now. Trough passing in the north isn't doing much for us. Uh, by Sunday morning, thanks for wrapping the G around, uh, we do get a trough in the west, but as we get southwest flow, and that's why we might get some more activity. It's not too impressive though, at least it's west of us. Okay, putting into motion, take a look at this ridge. That's the big story. As long as that ridge center keeps rolling around, we're going to be in the heat. <coughs> South winds. Here comes that trough. Uh, this is Sunday, Monday, and it kind of scoops in and then heads up. The ridge is now in the east. We have a trough in the west with a hint of a new ridge starting to form down here, southern Arizona. And then we're back to having a ridge in the west going into the end of next week. Yep, so ridge is being persistent. There it is really building over our state. For temperatures, got this cold front that came down that's helped push Adalia away, keep it from going further inland. We do have the trough in the west cooling it down and in between some really 
pretty extreme heat, especially in the northern plains. We got lots of cold out here, lots of hot up here, and we're right in that boundary. But this time, even with the cold front coming down on Monday, Tuesday, it's not much. We still stay a little above normal. As moisture goes, this is precipitable water, and it is very dry. Here comes the monsoonal moisture out west of us. And it tries to get over the divide, but well, the place it needs it most is the western slopes in the southwest part of the state, so it doesn't come through until Monday, Tuesday, briefly. And then we're back to dryness. Looking at surface moisture, I won't show this long because this is really dry. 30s and 20s for surface dew points, barely gets to 40s, low 40s. And it's not till I think the beginning of the week that this, you can see 60s out here in Arizona. And then some 50s kind of slip down on Monday. Moisture tries to push back in there with that cool front, but it's not much. All right, and as precipitation goes, also not much to talk about. There goes Adelia. Got thunderstorms in Arizona. If that high could just shift a little bit further over. Um, there's western slopes getting some precipitation. Utah getting a lot. A little bit into Colorado then away. That's with that trough going by and the cool front. And looks like we just dry out. Look how long Adelia hangs around. Even this model run thinks it's wobbling back towards the U.S. And another cold front it looks like. And it pushes it out finally. Bermuda needs to keep an eye on that one. Could get a couple hits. For the next five days we have precipitation in the west. Add five more days and it's just not much more. So 90s into the weekend and we finally cool down for the beginning of next week with a Sunday Monday better chance of showers. It's um, new month so take a look at that. Keep an eye on the time here. Um, weather service said above normal or above chances. Mm, I guess it's no above normal. It's just weird. Yeah, it's above normal chances of above normal temperatures with the below um, in the northern plains. This is what actually happened. 60 days of summer and it was very cool nationwide. Uh, just Arizona to Florida had the heat uh, with Texas making all the the records, but the news that this has been a ridiculously hot summer, really not. This is, even this is not overly extreme, and it's confined to these southern states. So what they're calling for in September is heat in the west and the south, and equal chances of precipitation with above normal in the southeast and above normal in the southwest. Adelia is heading out and probably start wandering around. Uh, it's Still, it's a tropical storm. I got uh, knocked down to 65 miles an hour. Longmont leader, Broomfield leader, check out local weather. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.